Hello and welcome to another video from S15 Studio. I would appreciate it if you can like and subscribe and leave any video recommendations down in the comment section. And be sure to check out my website s15studio.com where I have courses on Revit and AutoCAD. I'm currently running a 50% off sale on my Revit course beginner to advanced level so be sure to check that out before it expires. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can either fix the library content issues where you cannot find the library within the software or how you can download additional content from different regions. First, we'll go over to the download Revit content page on the Autodesk website. The link is down in the description. And once we're on their website, we can scroll down to download content where we can download as far back as 2019. So you need to click on the year that you're using and I'm going to choose 2024 and then once on the content page you refer to your language specific content pack so whatever language you'd like your content to be in this is where you'll first focus on I'm going to scroll all the way down to the English at the bottom and what I want to choose today is the UK English content version one and that is the metric version so I would click here on this link here if you wanted the US Imperial version you click here they also provide an international English content pack. All of this content is in English, but it is specific to certain countries. So we have a European, Australian, Belgian, Canadian, Denmark, and so on. So we then click on the link that will then download onto our PC, and then we can continue with the next step. Next, I want you to open up the file browser from your computer. We'll have two windows either side. So we'll have our C drive on the left, and our downloads on the right. Earlier on, we downloaded the templates and libraries straight from the Autodesk website. First thing we need to do is extract the library from that file. So we'll right click and run as administrator. You see my Windows Defender is trying to block that. So to get around that, we'll click on more information and then run anyway. If you can't run as administrator, you'll need to log out and log in in the administrator account. Next, we just need to extract the file, so we'll click on Extract. We we'll then place the library in the correct folder. So on the left-hand side in our C drive folder, we need to access the program data. So in order to do that, we go to the top. We'll change our tab over to the View tab. Then in the Show Hide, we want to click on Hidden Items, and that will reveal the program data folder. So we'll scroll down to Revit and the year, so it'll be 2024 or the version you have. It can also appear as RLT. So we'll double click on that and then double click on the libraries folder and then double click on the UK folder and there we'll see the full metric library. So we're gonna click on new. Here we'll see a list of all the different templates in both Imperial and metric. And I want to fix this to only show metric. So I'm going to choose the metric architectural template and click OK. If you have no templates here, we'll just press on default and press OK. So if I go to my type selector, I can see that the library is not the UK library. So we need to fix that. So I'll go to File, Options, and there's my file locations. This is where we can change our project templates on our default path for our library content. First thing I want to do is remove the Imperial templates and I do so by clicking on it. Then I go to the left hand side, there's a minus symbol, which will then remove that template. And now I'm left with only the metric templates. I now want to ensure that the template has the correct file path. So first I want to click on the construction template and once I click on the template, a small gray box appears, which we want to click on. Here as well, I'll select the UK construction template. I'm going to do the exact same procedure for the architectural and structural templates. Lastly, I'm going to rename each of the templates just so we can remove the metric from the heading. So now it just reads construction, architectural and structural. Just below that is the default path for user files. I'm going to leave that in my documents for now. If you wanted to change that, you go to the browser and reconfigure the file path 
and then below that is the default path for family templates. So when I click on browse, it brings me into the family template folder and I then select the English folder below. That is the root path for point clouds. At the very bottom, there is a places button, which we're going to look at next. We're then going to delete out the Imperial. Now we'll go to the metric library. So we need to hit on the folder back button until we arrive at the Autodesk folder. We'll then scroll down to our Revit or Revit LT plus the year, double click on the library, double click on the UK. We've now reconfigured the file path and to test everything out and everything is okay, we'll go to the insert tab, go to load family, and it should automatically open up the UK library. To test the templates, I'm going to close down this drawing and come back to the start screen. We'll select our template. There we have our construction, architectural and structure. So we'll click on the architecture, press OK. So I'll go to my wall tool and there we'll see my UK library. And it's the same for the doors. And we can then go to load family and it will bring us into the UK library folder. So everything has worked out. If it hasn't, you need to go back and redo this video from the start. Make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. If you hit the bell symbol, you'll get notified when I will post. Please comment below if there's any videos that you'd like me to create. And don't forget to head over to my website, S15 Studio, where I have multiple courses on Revit and AutoCAD. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part.